Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on scatter plot, a very uh, common and widely used visualization. Everybody uses it. And uh, we use scatter plot to find the relationship between two continuous variables. So start by importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import seaborn as sns. This is the libraries we need. And if you are not familiar with Seaborn, you will be today. Uh, Seaborn is a little bit advanced than Matplotlib. It is built on Matplotlib and other visualization libraries in Python. Uh, this is also very popular because it has some built-in style options and some advanced visualizations. So, Iris. We are going to use this Iris dataset which is a very famous data set. People use it all the time for practice purposes. Load data set, iris. This iris data set is built in the Seaborn libraries. So it's available to everyone. So this data set is about iris flowers. Three, uh, it has three different species of iris flowers and their uh, parameters and uh, their features sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. We will start by iris.plot, the simplest scatter plot. Okay, so kind uh, scatter. In x direction, I'll put uh, sepal length. Okay. And in y direction, I'll put petal length. And uh, this is double code or single code. They will do exactly the same thing, so don't worry about it. So this is the simplest scatter plot. Okay, now I will copy it and add something to it. Look, here I have sepal length and petal length. What if I want to add one more parameter that is size, size of the dots? And size of the dots will change according to the petal width. Okay, iris petal width. You see, these are dots, but I need to kind of make it bigger. Multiply it by 40, and also it will help if I make a figure size bigger, 8 by 6. Look at it. So you can see the a smaller the dot, a smaller the pedal width. So here in this area, pedal width is the smallest, and you can see in this area, pedal width is the biggest. And here in this area, there are medium size. So we added one more variable to it. We can see the relationship between sepal length and petal length, and also both of them, uh, how both of them relate to petal width as well. Okay. Oh, sorry. I want to add all of it. Control C. No. Yes. And now, size, I want to add another parameter called, called color. The color will change according to sepal width. <laughs> that's the only thing. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing left. Actually, species left as well. We'll use species as well. So look at it. The darker the color, higher the sepal width and lighter the dots, lower the sepal width. So we can see four different parameters in this one plot. All right. Now, uh, I will, uh, as I said, I will use the species as well. Instead of using color this way, I will change the color according to the uh, species. 
for different species, I will use different colors. Okay, when you use color here, you have to put a continuous variable. It, this color parameter doesn't work with a categorical variable. It, you have to always put a, uh, a continuous variable that changes the uh, transparency uh, or opac not opacity actually. Uh, it's just a transparency probably according to the these continuous variables. Okay. Now SRS. As I said, I'll show you a scatter plot uh, with a saber library today. So now this is the time. Scatter plot. Iris uh, dot sip length. Then iris dot pedal. No, let's do sip width. Let's do a little bit of different this time. Okay, size. When you use Seaborn library, you uh, uh, only S, uh, you, you need to put the whole size thing. Uh, size, pedal, length. Then also, uh, I want to, I wanted to show the hue parameter. And when you do hue parameter, that takes a categorical variable. And this hue parameter will change the color uh, by the species. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, didn't work. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't uh, add the data. Uh, Iris. Now it worked. So I didn't put the data. This is what it looks like. Look, you have different colors for different species. Uh, I need to change. Also, if, if you want um, this, uh, uh, I need to put this thing outside of this box because this is covering some dots, this legend box, right? PLT dot legend B box to anchor so direction this is the distance in uh, x direction and this is the distance in y direction okay yeah so this is this came out and if you want uh, these sizes you can uh, actually control the size as well i just put size pedal length but if you want the size varying a little differently you can do that with 15 by uh maybe 200 uh oh sorry sizes look at this so the you can uh, control the variation of the size now this variation of the size is a little distinct right a little more distinct so this is what i will uh PLT dot fix size uh, no not fix size figure fix size eight by six I want to add PLT dot uh, title simple length versus PL length okay. I can uh, change the font size 20 for the title plt dot x label uh, simple length plt dot y label pedal length plt dot show. So here I changed if you want you can improve the uh, font size here as well control c i will put font size 12. so the font size improved here so this is the complete 
scatter plot where we used pretty much uh, all the parameters. Uh, okay, that's all for today. This is the scatter plot I wanted to show you today. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay in touch with me. Uh, thank you for watching today's video.